All right, Flynn, eight matches to two tonight with Ohio State. Great crowd, first off. Talk about the crowd. What did you think of 30, over 3,000 people here at McComb Fieldhouse with Ohio State? You know, it's always nice to have a big crowd at home and, and you know, for your guys to compete in that atmosphere. But, you know, wish we would have done a little bit more to get them fired up. Looking at, you know, Dave, Dave had a good match. Vic had a great match. Um, but, of course, the match everybody wants to talk about, Port Stieber. Everybody's saying, ah, it's going to be the national finals. Of course, there's Devin Carter in there. There's Dardanes in there. It's a great weight class. It's a good weight. Looking at the weight, looking at the matchup tonight, you know, uh, he could not get to Stieber's legs at all. And he is an offensive machine, Mitchell Portis. He is on you. He's hammering you. you know, he's got great hips. He's always attacking, a great gas tank. Stieber, you know, feeling that match and getting that match up. You guys come up short here at Macomb. But how important was it getting the match with Steber? It was real important. I, I think, you know, with uh, Logan Steber so good in certain positions and so strong that I think y you have to feel that. And, you know, it's good to touch him and, and um, figure out how he, how he does, you know, how does he finish these shots, how does he get in on the legs. And I, I think it can only help Mitchell. Logan Stever's freakishly strong. What's when you talk to Mitchell? Did he express like, man, I just couldn't do this, I couldn't do that? Is there something that you know was different about obviously him compared to other guys? Um, no, uh, Mitchell didn't say anything. It's just you can see like in certain positions where, you know, you try to get him off your leg and he can hold on a little bit with one arm. And um, you, Mitchell just has to be a little more active with his hips and you know really work to you know come down off of him, and, you know, get his legs back. You guys are still without shop. He's there in the other room talking to one of your old NCAA champions, King. And, uh, you know, what's the status on him? Is he going to wrestle against WVU? you got to duel with them. What are you guys going to do? Or is it EWL time? If he's ready, you know, he's going to go. He's wrestled a couple days now in practice. He's, you know, getting back into the swing of things. Uh, I'd like him to wrestle next weekend. So, you know, that's, that's the goal. Can he make the weight? The weight, yeah, yeah, the weight's fine. 33, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah for weight, him to get the 33 is tough, though. Yeah, but he, he's real disciplined with his diet, so that the weight, I'm, I'm not worried about that. 184, I, I was really impressed with Vic. That scramble they had where Vic just stayed on top at one point. Vic's winning scrambles. Vic's normally yeah. kind of a stronger, not a robotic guy, I wouldn't say, but Vic's not normally a scrambler. Yeah. He won a couple scrambles tonight. He can scramble, and, you know, he did a nice job controlling the pace right away. You know, he was hand fighting hard and um, still want to get him to the legs more, but he had a good match. You know, he kept his intensity through the match, and I, I feel like, you know, he needs to do that to beat those top guys. First time we've seen DeLandy in the... Uh, the lineup at 157, Burnett Davis, was there a rustle off? What happened? Was there an injury? Yeah, you know, uh, well, Casey's been, you know, dinged up, but uh, they had a rustle off and Chase won. Um, so we'll see. We're going to wrestle Chase, you know, next weekend too and, and go from there. But, you know, right now, Chase is the guy. Dave Abbott, can he win an NCAA title? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think if, uh, if he can keep wrestling the way he's capable of and, and we need him to, you know, get a little quicker start, but, you know, yeah, he, he's a good wrestler. He, he can get it done. What do you guys got to do to win the EWL? You know, we need some of the guys that really kind of took a little bit of a, you know, you know, a shot today to, to come back strong and, and beat the kids you can beat and, you know, just compete better than we did today. So, but you can't win a tournament, you know, a small tournament with three guys. You got to have the team. So we need some of those guys to, you know, step it up. Where are you at with national duels? Will we see you there again next year? Is this something you're going to continue to support? Tom Ryan's a big advocate of it. Yeah. They hosted it last year mm -hmm. in a different format completely where they had all the teams there. This time it's a two-weekend deal. How, where's Tim Flynn, the Fighting Scots of Edinburgh? Where are you with national duels? You know, I, I go back and forth. I, I like the concept of having a national duel, you know, champion. Um, in theory, I think it's great, you know, and I think the crowds are great for dual meets. Um, we just have to figure it all out. You know, it's hard, it's just hard to get everybody on the same page. Um, you know, the timing of it, you know, there's some people that want it at the end of the season, but then it's like, you know, I know some of the Big Ten, they wrestle a Big Ten team, then they wrestle them again, then they wrestle them with Big Tens, and I, I understand that they don't necessarily want to do that. And, um, we'll figure it out, but I, I think, yeah, I, I think – in a perfect world, I'm for it, you know, and, and I, I think we'll participate next year. All right, Coach. You got anything else for me? Nope. WVU, then EWLs? Yep. we got to get on a little bit of a winning streak, I hope.
All right, Coach Hay, thanks for the time. We will see you guys. Where's the EWL's writer? Writer. All right, good luck, Coach. Thanks.